it for good and we serve as more democracy 98.1 fm member to the list live on www.kedodemocracy.sl and self the list live from radio partner them radio shallow 89.5 na corner do go in falabadi street same so on radio maling 88.5 and radio 1g 11.3 na join this street Radio current 1090.0 na cambia radio moa 105.5 na kanlaun popa radio na watalo voice of sandon na konodi street and voice of karine na kamakuye on 98.0 the voice of voice of Masuru na Pujo in this street. The program na Good Morning Salon where they come to you live from Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. It's up to you. The program Good Morning Salon they continue. As we tell you now today inside this edition of the program, I'm um, Good Morning Salon. You get for Kano all within the app the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. And at this time, once again, I welcome the Minister, Dr. Torad Senesi. Once more, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, it's up to you. Good morning, 98. Good okay. morning, Sarah. Okay, the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning um, gets the mandate for effectively and sustainably manage and administer the most important natural assets of the country when are the land resources. Well, things that we get for the with land in terms of how people they obtain land and other things, them now, now this and and more now some of the mandate of the ministry how the ministry don't do the work for ensure see um they live up to the mandate as it is expected of the public that the user gets a minister now yeah, for no changes and other things that they don't need to do for a improve all land related issue mr minister we want to see at this time congratulations for your retainment i think from where you get your retainment appointments now the first thing is would they get you sure Okay, so congratulations on that, sir. Thank you. Okay, so we come with somebody the about the Ministry of Lands, Housing, and Country Planning for a long time. Waiting you do up, when are the things that we for come now people in mind? When I'm from uh, Usa, we don't come out, and Usa, we do so now. We need for also look at Usa, we come out in terms of uh, before now, everywhere in the area where you go, you go, you see confusion in the Ministry of Lands here and there, there are problems here and there. Uh, what we don't do is that we don't work assiduously for meeting the expectations of the public by making sure that, I mean, there is some sanity, tranquility, quietness in the land sector. And I think, say, we don't do that uh, achieve to a greater extent. That is one. Secondly, we don't also improve uh, immensely on revenue generation. Uh, because if you look at the ministry, the ministry in the one uh, sector we have for help government for make sure say we generate enough revenue for help government for uh, support the social services. So I think say the most important is that we don't improve uh, immensely on revenue generation at the sector. Okay, we talk about improving that area. The people go the wonderful. We know the strategy them with the ministry and the team put together mm -hmm. for improve on revenue generation. Well, maybe the before I come to that question, the public might want to know. Who is to see you don't improve on revenue? What's not the baseline? And what's on the Then maybe from there, then I will be able now uh, tell uh, with exactly what don't they do for make sure so we improve on that revenue generation. I will just take some uh, basic uh, statistics, present some basic statistics. 2018, if you look at what annual uh, revenue we've been generated was about 601 million 854,000. That was uh, for the whole annual. That is 2018. Uh, 2019, we improve on that as a government. We move to 6.6 .6 million uh, leons. 2020, we move uh, again small to 7.8 million leons. Uh, 2021, we go 11 uh, million, 11.3 uh, million leons. Then, of course, uh, 2022, we go for make sure so we jump by a bit again. We make 19 point, not a million, uh, that are new leons, but if not the old leons, are 19 point. Uh, 3 billion uh, leons from 11 billion to 19.3 billion leons uh, inside 2022. 2023, uh, January to August, we don't already raise about 38.9 billion. I shall say that in August, if we don't reach 40 billion now. So you see, see the, 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 the ministry move from uh, 601 million uh, annual uh, uh, revenue generated to uh, what you get now when. Uh, 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 38.9 billion just from January to uh, August. So you see, say, we don't improve immensely on revenue generation for the country. And then the question now is, uh, we ask, which is the strategy that we don't put in place? The strategy that we don't put in place is that, uh, as I can always say, now this is a program for change people and, I mean, their way of doing things and a lot of orientation 
it take, it take you the leader for make sure say, people will understand what's not the vision. So uh, over the period, we don't do a lot of training. We don't do a lot of orientation. And not only that, we don't also make sure say, the fiscal discipline among the staff don't really improve. Uh, we not only do that, we also make sure, say again, uh, some other revenue streams in. We not been the, uh, we not been the push very hard. We don't make sure say, we don't bring and can to reality, such as regularization. Uh, now you pay fees for that. And we don't also introduce uh, service plots. We would also run a direct sale to members of the public. So we don't make sure say, we don't really improve on all of the things and, and, and introduce new uh, revenue streams. Uh, before now, it was just like, I mean, survey bills, you pay uh, lease rent, freehold, etc., cetera, building permits. And uh, the question of building permits still will get a problem because uh, all over the cities in Sierra Leone, including uh, the western area, now about just 10% will they collect for now. The challenges are there, but again, we can put in place some other strategies for make sure, say, uh, we generate more revenue. Right. So, okay. yeah. Uh, you mentioned about um, training and orientation for Wukman uh, the ministry. Basically, which areas so, um, on a them training and orientation on? Well, one of the things that we will try to do, one, uh, for let them understand exactly the basic laws will govern land acquisition, land administration, land management, then basic things that we involve in terms of monitoring, building permits, uh, and the, and the, especially in the cities. So we don't do a lot of that. Then not only that, first day, it will take you a long time for letting able to produce uh, survey plans. We don't go digital with that. Now we get a consultant today with we, uh, Dr. Alfred Bokari. We don't do a lot of training uh, with the staff for them for make sure, say, now we we'll produce now uh, the survey plans in, digital, in a digital uh, form rather than to they use using pen and pencil with this, that, for doing things. So we don't do a lot of training in these areas. And then, of course, even in terms of uh, monitoring the communities with respect to uh, building permits, adherence to building permits for construction and whatever, we don't improve on that. So I think so that don't make we don't improve on the gen revenue generation. So, Mr. Minister, in the area of the revenue generation, I mean, we're not the source of the collection, the actual two, which means different in the day, we people pay for wake up accessibility to land. Yes, uh, as I say, building permits is one we uh, we are still a struggle with them. If you look at the entire western area, we know, I don't think so we don't even exceed 10% in terms of collecting building permits. Uh, the challenges are there, but as a government, we try for also look into those challenges and see what we could do. Because no sooner we don't able to get uh, more manpower, we don't get more uh, mobility, we will be able to generate a lot more in that area. So we, 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 we then one source. Okay. Uh, lease rent is another source, freehold is another source, as I say, regularization is another. But then, uh, what to make them money, uh, they can now they don't jump from 601 million loans to about 38 billion just from January uh, this year to August, is that the, the, the human contact will reduce them drastically. So now you nobody know, handle money matters, it goes directly now into the, uh, 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 into the consolidated fund. And not only that, the question of even transferring uh, 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 files from one office or one desk to the other is no more the case. Now, you, the license surveyor, you can even now use your, tele, uh, your, your phone. What's now Android? You snap your survey plan and all other documents. You go now with an uh, app. There is an app now where they use. You go there, you upload everything. No sooner you don't upload that, everything they fall now to the front desk. The front desk official, officers, and then they went out in three. One day where they handle building permits, the other one day where they handle lease rent, the other one day where they handle uh, 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 build, uh, what do you call it now, regularization, etc. So they land directly at their own desk, at their own desk, at their laptop, or land at their telephone then. From there, then they check now and verify the relevant document. If not building permit, there are certain documents that we for attach, then they verify that. If not for lease rent, there are certain documents we for attach, then uh, verify that. No sooner that is done, the next thing I for make sure say they push them. When they push them, they go to the various uh, directorates the way they for check, like directorate of surveys and lands, directorate of uh, country planning, directorate of housing. Then get a young job where they for do. So the question of files they jump now from one table to the other is no more the case in the Ministry of Lands. So there is no room for any kind of things where people can describe as you can, you can at the Ministry of Lands. Well, now that will reduce now drastically, and the question of uh, this person in file loss, this person in file loss, or these documents, no, they, no, that is not the case anymore. We make sure say, everything now is digitized, the processes are digitized. So all
ultimately it will lead to a situation where revenue is paid directly into the consolidated so now you go use your phone you transfer the money you use afrisell money or you use uh, uh, orange money or sim couple and color you is now pay directly if not building permit you pay directly into the consolidated fund so you don't need for come the worker here and there they run here and there for going to bank here and there or run out of people and for do your payment no that's not the case anymore okay. so now you can use your phone you pay directly okay you you, you mentioned about um building permits and um, lease rent we know some of the things that we increase the revenue generation now the ministry of land so almost people can pay for a building permit or lease rent when are you we want for uh, construct a house you will want to do a fence you want to do some repairs to your uh, infrastructure for let you do all of that you get for make sure say you obtain a building permit the reasons are too many one for let we ensure we being really absent for let we ensure say you not deface the community outlook that is one secondly whether the land itself is suitable for that type of construction so those are the things that we will try to do for make sure say we reduce some of the dangers that we go we go occur in future if you not adhere to the building regulations. All those right. are the things that we are, we, we are try to do right now. So our cooperation don't tell it, um in terms to the public with the Canada Ministry. Well, the challenges are there still because one people are not used for the pay building permits for the obtain building permit before they construct. The challenges are still there. But what we will try to do now is to make sure that when once we get enough. Uh, resources as a governmental retriever put together in terms of manpower because currently what we don't do we don't uh, split the western region to be precise and even the other district headquarter towns into zones no sooner we don't get enough manpower we deploy them into those zones for the monitor not to forgo fit anybody but if you rebuild without a building permit there is also a fine for that then headquarter must be informed and then of course we request the assistance of the police for effect arrest and make sure we prosecute. And we don't prosecute also. So the challenges are there, but then of course some other people and they will also they cooperate very well because they know say now it's statutory responsibility for obtaining the building permit before you do anything on the land. All right. So what about the community then we already you know don't get building all over even road self for go now some side and all day. Within the ministry don't they do towards that? Well then the other thing we people also not get much information about. We I will use this opportunity to inform the people of Sierra Leone that uh, the only ministry or the only institution we're responsible for planning is the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. That's a statutory responsibility. So let us take, for example, say you don't build an access road. You say you don't buy the land. You don't buy the land, but if we in the ministry believe, say, I mean, this one, they also disadvantage other members of the community, we get the responsibility for make sure so we create access. So even when you don't buy the land, we can tell you, say yes, now you own the land, but then the wider or the bigger the benefits of the community supersede your individual interest. So if you're on the access road, we can pull out uh, who's the commander the access road and make sure, say, the entire uh, community, they benefit. Okay. So those are the things that we can always Mr. Do. Minister, what other important thing you can wake up on the Ministry of Lands or any land related issue, the issue of land grabbing? And most of them, we can see people in where they into the contention and they, everybody they claim saying that they get this land, everybody they prove a document, but we're going to the ministry on a first such case or issue as a land grabbing. Throw so more in, um, highlight on that particular issue, the way camp and land grabbing. Well, well you see, uh, we they put a lot of documents together, we want for take to the public, and then we they take to the public, we they make sure, say, we they name the individuals them and provide documentary evidence for make sure, say, I mean, we tell the public how the extent to which the land grabbing is uh, really affected. I'll give you some examples. Take uh, places, a uh, place like uh, Toke. If you take Toke, somebody they were in at Toke, I'm not going to name the name now because I, we try for still put a lot more, but we don't get enough evidence. Somebody in at Toke, they claim 200 acres of land. The document we get, they talk about 1990, when a fake document on LS 125490, with this person here, so they claim 200 acres now took in one grain. And when you look at that document, say, you're going to say that LS125490. Now, LS number for a property within a different location. Right. <laughs> so interesting. The same token, somebody is claiming 335 acres of land on LS number 231376. That's 1976. Now you say you get that property there. 335 acres in western area. So, Mr. Minister, You're right. most like, like, like just end this, please. Okay. I'm sorry. When you look at LS 2313 76, now LS number for a different property in a different location. 
So what is this they try to tell you about? John Obey, 85 acres. LS 261385. Now in 1985, you say obtain this one. In one grade, 85 acres inside the western area. The LS number 261385. Now LS number for a different property in a different location. But then the question is this, is this. How they get their LS number? Yeah? Whether they tell you, see, something fundamentally was wrong in the Ministry of Lands, Housing, and Country Planning. There must have been some conspiracy along the lines with some people giving these LS numbers with some of them people here, yeah, or working connivance with some of them people here, yeah, they take their LS numbers there. Yeah. But when you go into the system, you check up thoroughly, you realize that these are different properties with this LS number, but then they use it again, they prepare another document, somebody get her, and they go up and down, they don't claim the land, and they go sell and get individuals, they make profit. So in this kind of situation, the fault lies on who exactly? Some people within the ministry or the individual level Both. side? Members of the public, because in some of, all these are conspiracies. Members of the public, and then you also have people also from the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, and most of the people in this are now on, in suspe on suspension. So, apart from this context, for example, we don't get in, we do not look at, we may not refer to somebody as a land grabber. Well, when you LS number, okay, we they on your document is falsified, and they will not prove and for say this LS number, not for this property, the genuine owner day of this LS number, we get your own document, then definitely you are a land grabber. In a TV, a TV, uh, state land for your profit. And the unfortunate thing about it all is that you are depriving a whole nation. They deprive they deprive a whole nation. You they make the fight for land is so much across the country that people and they would need in need of land, but somebody don't go deprive them of that land. And the second aspect of that is that as I don't say just now, you imagine 2018, a whole annual returns on a land transaction was about 600 million in 2023 january to just august we were able for a raise 38 billion this include land they would allocate where people and they pay this rent for so you see say if you want to give land to ordinary Sierra we talk say okay you pay your lease rent of 2.5 million for three years there are, uh, you get a freehold you see say we don't give enough people land. If you just allow me again, I will give you statistics with respect to land who don't just give like for this year. Okay, we we'll come to that. Um, according to we format, we forgo for a break. Well, you listen to Dr. Torad Senesi in the Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. We don't need to talk about different things. Um, we don't need to do the ministry for improve on things that we get for do with land. The program, Good Morning Salon, they continue. And inside the program now, we look at another issue. Well, still on issues that we get for do with land. Some people now knew Jazzy Doris concern say from where government be say then go relocate them. <coughs> now they say we them for relocate them. That is not happen yet. Also, they say government use the land for Bill Gumadam na new Jazzy. With this according to the assistant director of survey at the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. Bob Coca say government won't get land now for relocate land owner them from New Jersey to Six Mile, where this is another land we available for give them. For more on this issue, let me listen to a reporter, Kaifa to Conte. New Jersey community, then are the Angola and Western area rural districts. This community, governments below identify them for Bill Guma Dam. We make government be compensate land owner them na this community and self put plan them in place for relocate them. But stay now. Government's not able for you locate them yet. Now for sake of this make the land owner them. Where the project affects Doris concern. For sake of the relocation where government's not yet. Because it's like Guma and Ministry of Land are not considering the work in partnership towards the, uh, the people um, who are affected. I'm not sure see their work. Because if they work on it and for a suitable site for the people and for who will be them, but I'm not sure. I've been in Western area. I was born and raised in Western area for quite a long time. Then you can't take me, say, they pull me in Western area. They came me go na um, six mile. Well, in fact, now they me predecessors and come. I don't plan for go there. I don't want to go there anymore. Could you imagine, say, they take me for Gwanda? We are not my lifetime on New Jersey. Yeah. In location. I mean, I don't really, really understand. I'm tormented and confused because we'll not be really expect this. You know, according to the military, we're going to switch to Busai within Western area. Now they can't change. Now, after for my, my, my six. Well, one transportation. I mean, not ever live that there, side and day. One day, I know ever, Sabi, they said, because I'm not at the work. 
Abadin. So for the common Abadin, they pay transport the car every day. And not easy. So me now want to And me picking a good school in the western area. So they now will pull me. Can we go uh, six miles? I know one day. If they listen to some land owner in New Jersey, for me government say, then they relocate them, but this thing say not happen yet. Then people here continue to say, they don't want this away government promise for relocate them from New Jersey to Six Mile, where this thing say, they affect their livelihood. Because how you go put somebody in a Angola, God get in a they can go all the way six miles for go relocate them. We are in a deplorable area and the way not develop it, then you go put somebody there. It's very bad. I don't buy this land almost here. Go on, go on, it's in Aguma Valley. They don't call me in a land, we don't go, we don't go. We can't meet him today. Can't tell me say na six mile. Therefore, send me challenge them. For they can't free from. According to the military, we go switch them inside within Western area. Now they can't change anything. I need my six. Where in the talk for sake of this, the assistant director of serving at the Ministry of Lands, Housing, and Country Planning, Bob Coca, say governments don't get land now. For you locate land owner them from New Jersey to six mile. But as I say now, the land they now the Nepal plot are now picking them. As at now, now, now we see me the ask the demand for by Wednesday at least. If they the demand and want for that strong first single word, join the the demand, then meet we at the ministry, then we go lead them and go show them this land. We be done put them clean, see we start to get land for you in a flat land in a six months. I know say at that time you know been go well with them. But what you get now you go talk about. We don't go call me suicide, we don't go even give. Yeah, because minister says we don't talk. In continue say the place where they give in a six mile lot of bush and safe, plenty development in Sydney at this community. New Jersey they very close to yeah, but the access for go to New Jersey we all know how it difficult bit, even though people they like the land. But this place now go the go to development or not to bush other houses they need the and the land is flat as how at Nigeria. But man, when the able aid man and in lieutenant with them where we go come from them, which we go talk now we not go to understand. But if they say then see how they hear then come then bring them then bring the message and go please. We are not patient already. We don't want to go show land, say, look the land. We want to make sure, say, all baking, all road network, where you go, just the car, you see that here. So, Mr. This is not your plot. This is not your own plot. You will see all the baking, you will see the road network. Then, at that point, see, that's so one one at this particular stage. And at that, as they talk now, people are in a feed now, then they try for them. Bob Coca end up a short say. Wednesday, September 27 this year, governments in say they relocate the land owner them. Where governments be planned for relocates and self call on them for take the land. Where this in say now the land where government able for provide now for the society for ready democracy. Mina Kalifa to contain the report. The people no go take your money and go. All some network problem. What you go do now? Go now. Salon Commercial Bank branch, kiosk or sub agent them all about na the country. Then get the money service business. You go able to take money where they send for you na MoneyGram, Western Union, Small World, and Rare Money where they over 150 country them. With the Rare and Small World, this na for we brother and sister there where they oversee. Then ki able to send money direct na Salon Commercial Bank accounts. Na Salonia, like they want they want build us or they want they we want Kawaka or for support them family them. Then can they oversee and put money inside them bank accounts. How for do all this if I do buy under? It easy me brother. All you for do, now for download the rare and small world app them and put your personal information them. Now you that. Member say you forget valid ID card and the correct code where the person send for you for go take you money. I want send money for me on cool upline. No worry. Salon commercial bank column salon link. Back from the break day and the program Good morning, Salon. They continue, and we continue with your studio guest, Dr. Torad Senesi, Minister of Lands. Mr. Minister, before we go for a break, you listen to a early show, get for those location, taking people from one side to another, and also you're one of you, Assistant Director of Survey at the Ministry of Lands. We give them people a word of assurance, they then go relocate them soon. On that particular issue, day, what do you get for say? Uh, let's start by making this very clear. In the first place, the, 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 the statements by the assistant director, that one is supposed to be a policy statement, and that statement is not supposed to come from him, which is wrong. And I think, see, 
I will ask for an administrative action when I get back to the office. Such statements must only come from either the minister or the director of surveys and lands or the permanent secretary. So he has no business to make such a statement in the public with respect to allocation or relocation. That's not his business. That is one. Secondly, the land itself for the people in the talk about so, who said they've been occupy, that's a state land. That's not a private property. It is a state land, and in the first place, they don't make any reason for go if it's a state day, a state day or squat there. Or they in connivance with anybody for letting them go allocate their lands and they to them. That is uh, two. Thirdly, you see, the public interest they always supersede the individual interest. The land was identified to be a suitable location for the expansion of the Guma Dam, where the water where they go put there, it will benefit the wider community. So for let you say you don't go stay there, and now you're right. No, it's not your right. And even the compensation where they may do, that one was done just because we in our government will give we action a, a human face. But that's not their right. And that one was established. They know that one. So in terms of relocation, if government even take the decision and say we are going to relocate you, it is not a question of your choice now. It's a question of what is available, not to your own choice. Who's that land available? Now they then go care you go, they're going to show you in the western area. But then you have already received compensation. So this question of, you know, people and your individual rights, then they want for take for let it supersede the general interest of the state. So in and this, that is wrong. So this particular issue, according to you, that person did not get the right authority. So the world we don't give the people and our one will not go stand on the No, he's, he has no business even making those statements. He has no business promising the people. It is this, the responsibility of the policymaker, that's the minister, or a team when at the top management. These ones are junior workers. Right. So what's it for doing in relation to that if um, um, junior, you, you know, colleague go na, na, na any place where you go meet issue? What's in the, 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 the root way for Fala? His responsibility is to, is to refer to an immediate supervisor, an immediate boss, and not to pose in the public as if, I mean, he has the authority. These are the things that they talk about, the way we uh, I mean, and inherit the ministry, that everybody feels too big, that he can make statements any day, he take action any day. You know, it will go against the policy drive of the ministry. And at the same time, you might even end up deceiving the public. And guess what? That burden they can to the minister head. You understand? You become funny in public. But as I say, I'm not going to that on day. I mean, on the, on the radio here. We'll take some action. But again, that guy again to the one that they ask for relocation. We we'll always, as a government, where they think about the welfare of the people, think about them. We will always do one. And what would they do? Huh? We would they do huh, for make sure, say, the general good of Sierra Leoneans, when I force to prioritize. So, they relocate or they relocate, if they relocate at all. We are taking that action to be a human face we are giving to our action. But then, as I say, compensation has been done. So, any other extra, we are doing it for make sure, say, then self not feel bad. But I'll give you something, some just quick information. When they talk, say, the police far. Now, if you take the land space in Freetown, Western area, it's 138,000 acres. Now get inside Western area. That's what we have. Now guess what? The total population, 16.8% of the overall population of Sierra Leone is occupying this Western area. Where the land, the total land area in Sierra Leone compared to what is in the western area, western area is just about 1% of the total population, uh, uh, the total land area of Sierra Leone. Then you have 16.8% of people occupying this western area. So that they tell you now, uh, clearly say, the, 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 the land itself is scarce in Sierra Leone. All right. And in western area to be precise. Land not deboku. Land not available, especially in the uh, urban center. Land not there anymore. All right. So if we relocate people, we'll get for relocating now outside Freetown, we'll, get, we'll take you go to the peninsula. That's all right. what we we'll do. All right. Now, we all know, see, everybody now, you know, wants in own small land, those are going to be built in own small house. So if somebody want land, with not the process and procedure way for FALA, for letting ministry, you know, offer? Now, you go to the right? portal. You go to the portal now, where you apply. As you apply at the portal, the forum, the, because also you get certain documents already attached, like your passport photo, 
your name or whatever national ID, you have to attach, attach all of those. You go to the portal, we see you don't fill them, you attach all it and then you uh, push submit. And they go to the uh, uh, front desk. The front desk, where they open their computers, they open their phones, and they go see and they. From there, they check for their documents, and they, from there, they approve. Say, yes, the documents are all we needed, they are attached. When once that is done, and they come directly to the permanent secretary. The permanent secretary said verify. They push on to me for say these ones, the documents are okay. From there, once I don't see them, he says don't verify say those documents are, are they push and now go to the allocation committee. The allocation committee, that uh, application, they all, right now if I open my portal, you go see them. The application, they all, they go there at the allocation committee, uh, uh, their own portal. I did the day. When once land is available, they don't, we don't get lands on site. We don't make sure so we don't lay out and find who said route for the for the day. The total number of plots. They don't do the statistics. Is there? When once that is done, the next thing is then they inform me now. Say land is available. They are getting to go ahead. I say we well, want to do allocation. So as in the can as when they do the allocation, as in the can as when they do the allocation. So now we have statistics of all allocations that we do in the ministry year in year out. That is what we now we are not doing. All right. So Mr. Minister, how you don't monitor for make sure say people will they apply. The one that we did at the ministry you not know, puts their own interest, you know, into the work. Well, it's simple. Them where they apply for land. It's simple as I tell you. If you go exactly to the portal, you go see, see, uh, the one in the can so we allocate. You know, they will take somebody from other side, you bring her up. No, because sometimes somebody go apply, you go say, okay, this time a young person, you don't apply. La fast track in your own done. And then they work anymore. Something. And then they work anymore because the human touch is not there anymore. When once we don't push onto the uh, committee, that committee level, if I show you now, you will see now, say, this is my own desk. You see, up to yesterday, if you sit here now, you will see, say, I approved 144 files, we can, directly. So wherever I didn't have the wall now, whether I didn't have my office or not, I didn't work, directly. Now there are 69 files, we don't already go through the portal, a day or so now. So, immediately I come on, so I go for sit down any side, I go walk from there. So to the way you go to my office, you meet file and partner, so you hide, no, you need meet her anymore. That's not the case anymore. So as now, of now, almost landing when I don't give to um, people. We don't give over from 2021 20, to now. We don't give over 7,000 land who don't spread across who they give to people, including the rough winners. This is what we are doing. So it is, it is now see the, the the fight over land business inside Freetown. It don't reduce drastically because more people now they get access to land. More people they get access to land. So that is what is happening currently. In the western area. So, Mr. Minister, the issue of right, I mean, land ownership or citizen a right to land. Now, one way majority citizen is unconscious about you can just see somebody say, Now, me get this land, now me people a left hand give me and all of that. So, in your words, who that exactly get a land in the western area? Now, government get land at the states because it's a crown colony. So, if you get land, you don't talk, say you get 300 acres, the title to that land must come from the crown. You know, I get a friend when a cabinet minister. Currently, currently, a cabinet minister. He been get some land somewhere. So he won't get a loan from the bank for go do some development on that land. So now he apply, now the bank send for verification from the ministry. For law we verify, for proof say that land is authentic. We can't realize say, the land where they claim so in the first place, the root of title, now a fake one. So we sent that report to the bank. So we go, now the bank teller, and say, no. The root of title is not coming from the crown, from the states. So this one was falsified. So we can't give you the, the loan. Now, instead of kind of office now can't tell me. What you go discover? He says, so this thing away, they talk about land grabbing, land, land here and there. He said, now, now I don't know what's the reality and what's the, 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 the negative impact. Now he explain, tell me. I said, when I did, we tell people that when they don't believe. People, when they find out, then just they go to people and they go buy. They just they go buy because they self no one for do the right thing. And then they aid and abet also the land grabbers them for make profit out of their misfortune. You imagine we are leasing the land for 2.5 million in the western area and some areas then are 2 million. Right? This one they can directly inside the consolidated fund. You imagine the revenue don't just generate this year. January to August, 38 billion. So that money they go directly into the consolidated fund. 
Government they use her for buy drugs and put her in their hospital. Government they use her for make sure she will support the hospital, uh, the schools. Government they use her for make sure she will do the roads. Government they use her for make sure she will get water supply. When are the general public, the general populace of Sierra and they benefit from that rather than individual they go take her, if they sell her, buy motor car, a buy hose, if they make like say na inge free town. So, but we look at all the issue of people will be victim of land. So it, it look funny. And they still go back to the Ministry of Lands because most of them people they get documented authentic mm -hmm. from the Ministry of Lands. I mean, the reason of some bad severe zombie always the excuse the explanation from the Ministry of Lands. How you don't try for correct that? When the only way we able for uh, correct and now don't start to now we go digital because when you go digital you solve most of them. Problem. Look, let me tell you something, John Obi, four hundred and fifty-five acres on LS number. Uh, 1658 1973 90 spots is in Nigeria landy John Obe 455 acres this is a different property in a different location so this person they use this uh, uh, survey plan from 1973 survey plan and they use them they sell their land there they make huge money you go sell one town lot sometimes 40 million euros. How I can discover them people I say they own a lot of land when I now when they own now when they come where you could not go this being thing because we are so rigid where they sell because when they sell to other person, you they attach your root of title. So then root of title, and then now we check now inside the system. I didn't know don't begin catch them. They're all names and then also all day inside this me computer. So so as I say, we they try for because we we'll get more. Thereafter, we are calling a press conference. We will go name the people and let them go court. All right. Now, um, for me, explanation, Mr. Minister, that shows you get people in the ministry with the pan yuki yuki. So, under your leadership, what you don't do now for make sure, see, them people are really connive with other people and forget a huge number of lands in a different part them, you, you, you actually tap them. Well, we institute disciplinary action against another one. Secondly, most of them people are so now, they get for be uh, uh, limited in the sense that we are now going digital. Because no sooner you go digital, eh? you go for limits now some of them kind of behavior they ask you. Because one, the record system, who they try for set up, not to everybody get access to it anymore. It has to be people with credibility. And even when you go to the back end, you need to get access to the back end. Because I just want to ask how secure this um, system is. It is secured, and not only that, whenever you log on to the system, you already log on to that system. The, the date, the time is going to be logged on also. So whenever anything happens, they will know. Right. Like when you like now, if you use your same couple, eh, if you pay to the account with respect to a particular transaction at the ministry, when we go to the back end, are able to know when when exactly you pay, so, the date and the time, are able to know and who is that person. So even though that system they wait in a true digital registration or application, another view would say what of people will not get to know how access. <coughs> excuse me, we're not getting know how access for go through such means for apply for land. We're not the next option we're not create for them. No, there is no way we're not getting know how because a license surveyor for private property you need a license surveyor for state property you need a government land surveyor, and there if I understand simple because we know the processor at the ministry. So you when I will say you know ever go school, but you license surveyor day, and the license surveyors they don't already train them also. All license of yours now this country has so now the Ministry of Lands and they give them. I'm supposing on also this some board saying that the legal license of your because we look at the issue of the so many issues with the around land, some of them of your then they are the main factor. Yes. So now if you go to the website, all the license of yours, all people, all individuals will get the background, they don't train their own license of your then in a website. So anybody who can't to you, it can't tell you saying a license of your if you want with a call, cross check with the ministry also if you need to go to the website. You can with the person in, in particular. They will tell you, say, this one I qualify license of here. Otherwise, you don't get no reason for doing any business with them. Okay. Well. And then not only that, uh, very soon, maybe this week to next week, uh, if somebody go now you land or you go now your house, they say they come from the Ministry of Land, you will begin to see a different attire than they put on. And that attire, they, they all get cold. That cold day within a chest and that close day, you will see and say also, again, ID card. That cold day for the day. Okay. And that code did they show whose directorate way it did. If not service it did, if not housing it did, if not planning it did, they, they all get code there. So if somebody go to you land, they go, and they go do any activity, they take that one. If you are not satisfied with whatever he's doing there, just snap that way they call. If you don't want to do one, snap them, you report that to because for make sure you get access to an ID card. And that code they wouldn't interest in back. Okay, well, that's not Dr. Turad Senesi, you know, the Minister of Lands. Housing and country planning, we don't need to talk about different things, they don't need to do. I'm not the ministry on all land related issues. The program, good morning, salon, they continue inside the program now. We go for a break.
We continue inside the program now with the take um, one of us to read them. Usai, the country director for Saint Salon, Joseph Ayanga, don't call on Oman, then our Western area, rural district, for going to agriculture with this is a good app, create job opportunity for them. Joseph Ayanga talked this in our meeting with Saint Salon with support from the partner, them, Tokia, go launch the Western area, rural district, Young Women in Governance Network. You know, Kabia gets more in Guna reports. do with land issue. Mr. Minister, I don't throw highlight on revenue generation, land grabbing, application of land, and other one them. Now, another important issue that you all get for do with land tax. Take with listener and view them through this particular area. Well, thank you again. You see, 2015 land policy uh, may recommend uh, certain things into government, for the government one for bring, uh, for make land much viable to Sierra Leoneans and use the land resources for redeem with economy. And uh, one such recommendation was the establishment of the National uh, Land Commission for Sierra Leone for effective and efficient management of land transactions in Sierra Leone. We don't already established that. That will be one of the recommendations of the 2015 land policy. Uh, we don't also, the, the, the same policy be recommended again uh, for the uh, customized land rights. That one also, we don't already do that one also. And that uh, we don't pass that act in a law now in Sierra Leone. Then the same uh, 2015 policy be recommend for the establishment of land information system and title registration. We now get uh, the Sierra Leone Land Administration Project where they try to do all of this, support all of this for establishing in Sierra Leone. Another recommendation we have been very key in that policy document was the introduction of land tax for revenue generation for government and support and to support uh, investment. Now, that one they don't left in the reviews of the laws. So, then five key recommendations. Uh, from 2015, we only able for begin implement all of these. And uh, we we'll don't take over from 2020, 2018 to date. Now, we don't establish uh, the National Land Commission. We don't pass the Customer Land Rights Act. We don't get money now for establish the land information system and the title registration, which is, which is ongoing. So two of the recommendations and then are don't left. The introduction of land tax for revenue generation for government and uh, support investment and then the review of laws. So the two we don't left, now they now they try for a uh, uh, push. But let's just wait and call. You know, 2015, when these policy uh, recommendations were made, uh, for some people, they be refused for letting them pursue them because they think, say, maybe we be minister, if you pursue them here, you they take away your own uh, authority. But taking away your authority, not necessarily means say, you are losing your value. What is important is what goes to Sierra Leone that is uh, going to be the general benefit. So I think say, that is it. So as a government, that is what we have been pushing. So now, the next phase now is the introduction of land tax for revenue generation. If you sit down inside Motoka from here, you go up line. You see, say road infrastructure don't improve. Both ends of the roads, you go see, say too much land they do where people need to use at all. There's only the idle, the land they do for user for agriculture, for user for manufacturing, etc. So those lands are there. But then, no sooner you don't come in, you want to make like say uh, you want to go do agriculture here and there. So and there, I mean, with all respect to our people, or some people, they, they go charge you like say that land they don't put on school or they don't can't go to a clinic. Then they get medicine here and there. So it only drive away lots and lots of investors in Sierra Leone. As a result, we have not been able to move forward because we are not making use of the land resources effectively and efficiently. So uh, the one that will be reviewed this policy here, they may see a lot of justification why there should be land tax. Because if there is land tax, now you are shifting. The one we get, the if, if you talk, say you, you are going to pay 10 loans as land tax for one acre of land. Then if somebody come and say it will give you 15 loans, for let a utilizer land tax day. Then you don't know, say yes, at the end of the year, you are paying uh, uh, 10 loans to government as land tax. Then five loans, they come to you, but then somebody also, they use that land day. Maybe it do large scale agriculture. It provide employment. It provide also revenue for government in terms of other taxes and other things. So by so doing, you are moving the state. But that will not be done in, uh, embark on that yet. And we are going to make sure that we begin the discussions for make sure, say, uh, we introduce uh, the land tax in Sierra Leone. But I'll tell you something. We're very important also. Now, if you take Sierra Leone, to be precise, uh, you will see, say, we get 17 million uh, 730,000 acres of land in Sierra Leone. That is what we have. All over. All over Sierra Leone. 17,000, 
million seven hundred and thirty thousand acres. Now, look, talk say we we'll just target thirteen million acres of land. If we target 50, uh, 13 uh, million acres of land, the law say you are paying just 50,000 loans for one acre across the country. You talk about 6.5 trillion loans that you will generate from the land resources in Sierra Leone. Now, 6.5 trillion loans will give you about $289.2 million. Guess what? Our wages and salaries annually for Sierra Leone for all public and uh, public sector workers and civil servants is about 240 million dollars annually that's what we need for low able for pay with public sector workers civil servants and public servants that's what we need 240 but if you use just 13 million acres of land then you say okay just pay 50,000 loans for one acre of land just 50,000 we nobody no we will talk say no we will do that if you do investment on the land we would only raise 6.5 trillion would where you uh, convert into dollars, you'll have $289 million. Right. So you are able to pay your wages and salaries annually just using land tax with no resource to uh, donor support in terms of uh, budgetary support for that. So when you don't do that, they, you they reduce the dependence on donor right. support in Sierra Leone. You they reduce, use, I mean, you they reduce that, this question of we depend on outsiders for take care of responsibility as Sierra Leoneans. We are going to reduce that. We they become independent. We can take our decisions without making reference to anybody. If anybody comes from outside, we are now talking as equals. Then we will make sure we do business together for mutual benefit rather than you they can dictate to us. So introducing the land tax, they get that kind of benefit that is going to support the budgetary okay. implications or commitments of government and make the country very much stable. I mean, in terms of a uh, uh, business transaction. Continue for the reason inside the program, uh, Mr. Minister. Uh, I just want to just, just roll out some of the benefits and quickly so that we don't lose that trend. All right, go ahead, sir. Please. Right. So you uh, reduce the donor, donor dependence. That is one. Secondly, also, you are going to encourage investment. Because somebody they can away go to the community and no say the land tax now this. So the person where they also now the provinces where no say where they get their land they know exactly what you go ask for where the person says they go accept. Because the person knows what you pay for, for land tax. So you know can you can't exploit somebody unnecessarily or the land they don't in order to use. So it is going to promote investment, especially for agriculture and manufacturing. And when you promote that one, the other effect we get is that you are going to create more jobs in those communities. So you don't get idlers in other communities. You are going to bring more wealth to the community. So you are going to move Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is going to move. You increase employment opportunities, skills training is going to be enhanced in those communities. Then above all, I'll take the western area. You are going to cobble and grab it. Somebody wants to say it gets 300 acres. We we'll get we we'll, we'll can't put to regulations. You get 300 acres. In fact, if you say you get that and then if Mr. Donald sit, me continue for Sidon sit as minister. If you say you get 300 acres of land inside Western area, I need to talk nothing. Go we'll bring your document car. We bring a rubber stamp them. We we'll rubber stamp them, then we'll, we'll now introduce now land tax on it. So where you have 300 acres, there's a hotel without talk, say, okay, inside Western area for one town lot, you are paying land tax of 250,000 or 500,000. Now you say, say, go fret for let you distribute the land and they let it come on your hand. So more people are going to also have access to land. Right. And we generate more revenue for the state. Okay. Continue for the with me inside the program in name now Dr. Turad Senesi, Minister of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. I said there this morning for talk about activity. We don't have upon now the Ministry of Lands. We'll go for a break. Okay, I'll continue the program. Good morning, Salon. We did look at another issue. As way for CC Paramount Chief, them do the work proper one as traditional ruler them. This makes the Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs, Tambalamina say. The ministry they work now with other body them for review the chief tenancy act of 2009 so that paramount chief them will get strength for do their work it took this inside our meeting with the ministry all with um administrator them um inside one conference all um with the ministry of local government and community affairs organized among this issue with reporter Ari Amy jackson the Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs talk this inside one meeting where the ministry all with provincial administrator them now the conference all of the ministry. This engagement is meant to foster conversation between the ministry, the political level, and administrators 
nationwide. Government considers your role very important and that you have played a very significant role towards the administration of this nation and also in maintaining peace and security in all the localities nationwide. As it's been mentioned already, this is the second tenor of His Excellency the President, retired Brigadier Julius Mahada Bio. We're gathered here to discuss because sometimes it may seem as if your role is passive or you walk behind the scenes, but the jobs that you do helps in maintaining peace, stability, and development in those localities. For that, we actually want to appreciate you. According to the ministry, this is not the first meeting where the Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs, Tamba Lamina, all with provincial administrator them since President Julius Mada Bio, appointed for being Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs for the second term. Tamba Lamina continues to say, since Parliament passed into law the new Local Government Act, this is not the first term for meet with provincial administrator them for discuss about the act, and self talk about how they will work together for implement the team them with the inside this act. I believe this is the first time we are meeting with the provincial administration to officially inform you that this document exists and this document is for implementation as well. One thing that is that stands out in this document is the effort Effort to try and merge the various strands of administration nationwide. That is, wherein hitherto there were issues with regards to council administration and district administration, we have tried through consultation and with parliamentary approval to try and ensure that we see ourselves as doing the same job. And it is one of complementing each other and not one of unhealthy competition. The Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs go before for say the ministry they work now with other body them for give you the Chief Tenancy Act of 2009 so that Parliament Chief them go get drink for do them work proper one. We want to register the need for the review of the Chief Tenancy Act. We know that we have a Chief Tenancy Act of 2009 and at the point where the Local Government Act was passed in Parliament, we were actually asked by the Honorable Speaker that we look at the Chief Tenancy Act immediately and we have a responsibility as a ministry together with all of us to ensure that we have an act that is fit for purpose, that is comprehensive enough, especially based on the experiences that we've had throughout these years to make sure that we strengthen governance at the chiefdom level. So that work is at hand as well. The Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs, Tamba Lamina, thank you to the provincial president for maintaining peace at the various locality during the election. Then I one way the ministry all look inside the challenge them with provincial administrator then can face for do them work for the society for the democracy at the M. Jackson the report. The program Good Morning Salon um they continue well from that report they will come over to we studio guest as today we get the Minister of Land, Housing and Country Planning. Dr. Torat Tennessee, we well don't take releasing and via them through different things them where the ministry don't need to do for improve on the land or work where the ministry get as managed. Over to you, uh, Mr. Tennessee. Before we go for a break, if you talk about a land tax, we you say this and something that they plan for introduce. But another view would say coming with a land tax get for be another burden of people and we call already other fees and the way people that they pay we can by owning a land or accessibility to land. Well, now that's make we not just want for just car with the land tax, we want for blender with the review of the relevant laws. So when once we do that, we make sure there's some other things and they will get for pull off. Because the land tax get for being an annual. And not get for they get for being in a way that way in other associated costs they're not for there at all. I mean when once that is done, let us see if I mean it is annual. So by December 30, 31st, all our money they go don't pay. You don't have any other associated cost. So that money they would all of Kaiser government covers. Now government knows say now this quantum of money don't come up from land tax. It is a special account. So you cannot use that, say, okay, this particular area no get hospital. We don't use this money, I will put hospital there. This other districts, now so 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 uh, cheap done. They don't get hospitals, eh? they don't get schools. No use this money. There is already readily available money for uh, undertaking that kind of projects and they. So the policy recommendation they say when once you are able to put together all of those documents, uh, all of those uh, uh, monies, then you can now undertake now capital projects eh? where they benefit the Sierra Leonean populace rather than individuals no more and they take the land they go sell them. So those are the things that we want for also to Mr. Mr. Yeah, yeah, this issue about where some people get if you say you know they pay much attention to private land documents. 
When they sign up, they mean like you know they pay much and whether it gets for the signing, reviewing, or going through it. Yeah, two things go be right. No, nobody no talks and they pay attention to that. And they look everything and will not ever stop the signing of private uh, uh, land documents. The next time while they come at the studio and not continue with that statistics, I will call that statistics day, for sure the public say we are signing. What they happen is the private surveyors they have problems. Sometimes we will reject the document. Will they put the reason? Why we reject that document? Maybe this other document, if we attach, you not attach them. Maybe the title, uh, root of title is not attached. Maybe your, your, your payment slip is not attached. So, okay, ask them, say, Una go attach them here. They're knocking uh, drum on time. But rather, then they tell now the client, say, No, now the minister, I need a sign. We are signing. We have never stopped private. The only thing we will stop uh, down this self, now in state land. Now that the tower just take over because of the problems will be inside the ministry, so we go for suspend and default. But even during that period, private survey plans will sign right through, and up to this moment, we are signing. We will only reject when the title, the root of title, is not appropriate. Whether maybe it is falsified, like some of them here where they see so. that route they need to come up from some of them forged documents here. If you don't come up from them falsified documents there, so we then go forge people. Like three uh, last week, who one? One who that surveyor. One person, uh, one uh, document and submit. I uh, ask the director of service for let them uh, prosecute, let them report them. They, f they force, uh, forge uh, the signature and the stamp where they use. But the stamp where they use, there is something where they understand. Now only me and the one where we make the stamp. Now who's that? Who said that? That 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 secret The one. So if any other person go get them, the one where we been do the stamp. Now go take go to court. So then then they use me stamp. They use stamp. Where they don't go court. When I'm using stamp where they use a fiber ram. They go put on it, then they forge me signature. Tamba detector, and I bring to me. Say, Minister, I say, I doubt something. He said, The signature, not fee by signature. I say, But something you've been in a hurry. I say, Last year. Now look, I say, Okay, last year I've been in a hurry. I say, Wait till I check now the stamp. Now I check the stamp. Now I know. I look inside that small uh, corner, they will be done keep. When I mean, no more, no, I mean, they will be look at that. I say, Ah, I say, Not to be stamped this one. Now I take me stamp. Now I put on here, now I put up what they call. I say, See the stamp. I say, Not to me. I say, You say, say Wait, Tim, so I need to show you. Who are going to court now? I go show people. I wait the difference. So, for with all the... so, so then thing they, they, they happen where if the documents are fake, we go reject them. So it means that with all the rigid measure, how they try to forget them, are you still get some bad eggs? They, they are, are they are there in the public. You know, this land business now a cartel be done in this country. So you get too many players. Too many players and they, they wouldn't get interest. So when you say no, let us do it in the interest of the states. You don't get your enemies. You don't get too much, too many resistance. The resistance is there, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to budge. So as they say, they think. Me say they think above them. Right. Okay. So and they sit down on my desk. They think about the, about the strategies. What do I do to make sure that I mean we we'll take them at the corner and they're not over. They're not over overshadow we at all in terms of our ambition. So we see some time back there was a joint venture agreement between the government of Salon through your ministry mm -hmm. with Staff African Global Limited. Give a listen every them an update. A far advanced. They don't already established their office now at Salon. In fact, if you visit the office, you will see the prototype of the kind of city where then they can for kind establish. It is there. The CEO is here. They are working assiduously. By next month, October, uh, we intend for go turn the sword. Take the, uh, the president for go with and call. It's going to move as fast as possible. We did at the top of it all. And that uh, other one, and they would say they come forward. But the thing is, when they come forward, we ask them for proof of funding. It becomes a problem. They want to use the land, the whole land. They then go now out, go, go begin the scout for money. I mean, I need a degree. Because where you hold them, other people they will deprive them. So where you can say, no, bring proof of fund. Then we will go now into agreement, argue the land. Otherwise, no way. All right. Be, 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 um, before we go for um, Wakabot, quick one. Um, somebody say, waiting at the time frame, we on the take for to sign private document. Private document, I think, would they go now for, because today it can take them two weeks, three weeks, but I think it's about 72 hours now, maximum, because they go for visit the signs for make sure so they verify. They then also look at the document because they go for check inside our system. Like all the old documents that we get, we now records with them. Because right now, the director is of service and plans, and they put all now into a, the electronic form. So now it become easier. When once we don't do that, we anchor it again on this portal. So it becomes very easy now. For they able to verify the plans and quickly, and we'll do. I mean, we'll sign the plans. Then. So right. we are improving on the turnaround time right. gradually. Con continue for the week inside the program. In name now, Dr. Turad Senesi, Minister of Lands, Housing, and Country Planning. I said there this morning for talk about things that we don't happen now. The land, um, lands ministry. Um, we'll go for a cabot. We'll continue the program. Good morning, Salon.